Nature has bestowed mankind with herbal resources and ancient wisdom has incorporated these resources through proven treatment processes. Let us consider a scenario where an ailing person seeks the help of this proven process. How has this man come to suffer this pain? Why does disease afflict a human body thus? Could a body ever be a perfect system? Ayurveda and Siddha are the treasure hive of knowledge that was gained from the experience that accrued during the quest of finding out the answer to these questions. This experiential knowledge has arrived at an important conclusion that health is a state of complete well-being at the physical, mental, emotional and spiritual levels. This canon is the soul of the Indian traditional medicinal treatment systems. An ailing body can be cured by the usual methods only to an extent. But such methods cannot be termed holistic. For the treatment to be holistic, it has to include the spiritual. How is spiritual well-being bestowed upon an ailing person? It is here that we need a fully realized Guru. Unfortunately, in the present urban environment, amidst the fast pace and rush, the soothing touch and guidance of a Guru is conspicuous by its absence. Is a Guru's presence far and elusive in our present day lives? Another layer peels off a man's life. When life itself has got transformed into a race, a man sleeps in exhaustion from the day's fatigue and wakes up next morning only to find himself on another race track. At each blink of his eye, he is filled with moments of excessive expectation. But do we win? Let us travel back a few years to an earlier period. A guru was concerned at the plight of those who approached him for healing and cure. For their sake, the guru worked out his own process of making herbal decoctions in small earthen pots inside a reed thatched hermitage. That was in the year 1972. That day, Guru predicted, one day people from all over the world will arrive here for healing and cure through our traditional medicines. He made the prediction from the strength derived from his experiential theory that integrated, moralized and sanctified all existing desires and theories. That prediction has become a reality today. The world at large has acknowledged this prediction, the evidence of which lies in the arrival of people from across continents to India and to Shantigiri Ashram. In the southern part of India is the land of Kerala, blessed by the bounties of Mother Nature. Kerala is flanked on the west by the Sahya mountain ranges which is rich in biodiversity and rare medicinal herbs and on the east by the Arabian Sea with its breathtaking beaches. This has earned Kerala the sobriquet, God's own country, on the global tourism map. Shantigiri Ashram is a registered charitable not-for-profit institution housed amidst the sylvan surroundings near Pothankod 21 kilometers to the north of Thiruvananthapuram, the capital city of Kerala. 
It was founded by Navajoti Sri Karnakara Guru in the year 1972. The ashram was conceived by Guru as a movement that embraces all human actions, spiritual, material and cultural, setting up the standards for everything in the light of universal love and grace of God. The ashram aims at propagating the mission of Guru and is a research organization recognized by the Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. Let us consider the question raised in the beginning. What is the relevance of a Guru in the context of a man's well-being? Guru said, This body is the evolutionary layers of the soul formed through thousands of rebirths. The lack of virtue in the soul appears in the form of many diseases. Such karmic diseases are removed through the righteous way of gaining virtue by good karma. The new moral health theory propounded and practiced by Guru is not just a treatment scheme. The cure to ailments lies in nature itself. In recognition of this fact, Shantigiri plants and grows medicinal herbs in herbal gardens on its own premises through organic farming. It is from this garden that the ingredients are hygienically picked, categorized and sorted. During treatment, Shantigiri uses only medicines that are prepared by these ingredients. The treatment process at Shantigiri embraces a philosophy that integrates the creative force, the theoretical knowledge and the practical wisdom of the Indian sage tradition. Appreciating the significant role of modern medical techniques, the holistic medical practice followed by the ashram incorporates traditional and alternative medical systems and therapies to help and hasten the healing process. Shantigiri has state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities where all the medicines used for treatment are prepared. This is supported by the research wing of the ashram which ensures the efficiency and quality of the medicines. The research helps keep the manufacturing process in line with emerging trends in medicine, one aspect of which is the synthesis of both Ayurveda and Siddha. Shantigiri prepares and uses 400 different medicines, 72 of which are proprietary. All this ensures a steady supply of essential drugs that are then distributed through a worldwide distribution network of its own pharmacies and franchises. Shantigiri's treatment processes cover all known major human ailments. In Shantigiri, the healing process takes place in a very special sanctified atmosphere full of positive energy. The treatment is actually the removal of karmic errors and it happens in a divine ambience that is filled with intense and devoted prayer. It is this ambience that makes Shantigiri what it is and distinct. Here, the treatment is a process that transmits into every living cell in the human body the combined effect of Ayurveda and Siddha medicines. And this happens in a serene ambience. So in that sense, the treatment process in itself is a prayer. It is also a process of refinement and rejuvenation where the ailing person undergoes a regeneration in thought, word and deed. Word is truth. Truth is Guru. Guru is God. In the light of this understanding, Shantigiri Ashram founded and manages educational institutions to illuminate and guide the new generation, the way to the knowledge tract of ancient sages. Shantigiri is expanding. The word of the Guru is simultaneously spreading and reaching the human multitude cutting across religions, caste, language and national barriers.
The ashram manages Sai Vedic heritages in well-known locations across India to cater to those who arrive with varied needs and expectations, and this may be termed as health tourism. The centers cater to both domestic and international tourists by making available the facilities for authentic Ayurvedic Panchakarma treatment and an elegant and leisurely stay. The heritages provide accommodation that has comfort and convenience with a splendid nature view. Shantigiri Ashram today is a place where the confluence of traditional wisdom and advanced technology is to be seen and experienced by all. The wisdom and the facilities on offer are meant for all who seek the rejuvenation of their body, mind and soul. And those who seek will emerge as a revitalized person, blissful, at peace and with an enhanced awareness of life itself.